Stitt. I'm one of the art directors at Insomniac Games, and one of my primary jobs is, is building the worlds that you actually run around in in the games. One of the very unique worlds or set of worlds we have in, in Ratchet and Clank Going Commando are the spherical worlds. In a case of just your normal world, you run around, it's, it's like our real world, it looks flat. The spherical worlds are truly round, and you can walk all the way around them any direction you want. So if you look, you know, the, what's going on here, you know, there's the whole, that's the level, that's where you're running around and playing, and there's Ratchet. And a lot, most of the gameplay centers around finding these little pads, jumping really high, taking out some baddies. Work your way around. And some of the jumps are absolutely incredible. You can get so far above the world, it feels like you're almost in orbit. This is also one of the more complicated worlds to build because it it wasn't, you know, flat. You had to be able to look all around, upside down. It was just very complicated. So this is one of the maxi games or uh, mega games where you can go in and uh, hone your skills. And you have your, your basic wrench attack. But you can go up and you can pull in the, uh, the little mini nuke here. You know, take out, oops. Of course, you got to have a point in the right direction. Let's take care of this guy the easy way. But we just keep throwing more and more guys at you. So here we go, mini nuke. Oh, dropped it on my own foot. There we go. You don't want to drop a nuke at your foot. That's really bad. But the, the stakes just keep getting up and up. You know, now there's just a few enemies. The more you play, you know, here we go. It's starting to pick up the pace a little bit. Enemies are coming in faster. All sorts of weapons. This is one of my favorites. Just lay out a stream of of lava here. Once again, you know, if I kept using this weapon over and over again and got really good with it, the weapon actually upgrades and becomes even more powerful, and its effects change, its range changes, and uh, just about every weapon in the game will do that. Of course, to compensate for that, the enemies get tougher and tougher. As, you, as your weapons get tougher, they start showing up with armor, and they start showing up bigger and bigger enemies. This is one of my favorite levels, just for pure beauty. It just The lighting in it is just gorgeous. Really an achievement. We, up, we updated the whole lighting system for uh, Ratchet and Clay going commando. Another one of my favorite weapons is the, is the, the multi-star or the chomper. You throw it out, and it'll start. It'll hunt around and take out enemies for you. So it's like a, a boomerang, frisbee, nasty thing. You watch it keeps coming around, coming around, taking out all the guys. It works great for taking out a whole room of old guys. There's also you know little kind of you know smaller puzzles where you have to figure out how to get across this water. So we have what's called a terminator. That'll freeze the water here, so you can get across. And of course, as you move further into the game, there's more complex and complex puzzles requiring you to use all the different gadgets and weapons. We have a great little uh, sniper rifle here that allows you to zoom in, take out a bad guy long before he causes you any trouble. Right up here, this is a beautiful little spot for the nuke here. They're waiting in ambush for you, but I know that. So we go up to the nuke, you wait for him to come out and you drop a nuke on him. Oh, he got me still. One of the whole premises behind Ratchet and Clank is just more and more stuff to blow up. So you, know, you got crates here, we can just blow everything up. The whole screen just 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 rocks. Well, that's, that's our favorite thing. We like blowing stuff up. Uh oh, there we go. I thought I was out of nukes, that would have been bad. You know, you can, one thing, you can go to the sniper if you want to be a little sneakier. The other great thing about the whole Ratchet ID concept is you can play the game any way you want. If you want to sit here and snipe off enemies, you can. If you want to go in, you know, Rambo style and just attack it, you can. You can play the game any way you want. 
You know, there's some enemies that definitely work better with some weapons, but we leave it up to you to decide how you want to play the game.